great now that we've got our patient email query created let's go ahead and do some updating of data using our query first of all we want to locate the record with patient ID 22523 you can do whichever search method you want to do you can scroll or you can use the find tool here in our find group we want to look up 22523 hit enter and there is our record for Nancy Frazier let's go ahead and double click the name column for this record double click Frazier to select the name and you'll see that that block comes up in all black and we want to update the name to Bennett B-E-N-N-E-T-T -T. press tab key three times once you've entered that to move to our email column which you can see has not had any information put in it yet. Well, we've now been given that email address as n.bennett at example.com so go ahead and enter that information now. Once you've got that entered press the tab key to save that information. Now let's close our patient email query then open the navigation pane which we already have open so we'll just go ahead and leave that open and you will note that the patient query is listed in the query section obviously instead now that we've closed this we want to instead open up our patient table so let's go ahead and double click on that to open it up and then let's go ahead and close our navigation pane with our shutter bar now let's ro locate the record for patient ID 22523 which we were just working with which as you can see is now been updated to Nancy Bennett in our patient table. So the changes we made in the query data sheet to the last name and email field values were made to the record here in our patient table. So if we, now that you've verified that, let's go ahead and close the patient table. Well, great job on creating a query using a single table. Now let's move to creating a multi-table query. Once again on your ribbon up here, click the Create tab. And we're going to click the Query Design button here in our Queries group. And our Show Table dialog box is going to pop up there. Let's click the Patient table then click Add and let's do the same thing for the visit and rather than clicking Add you can just double click Visit and you can see that the patient and visit field lists appear in the query window and that the show table dialog box closes once you hit close alright so let's go ahead and you can see that we have a scroll bar here so we want to expand that to see all of our available fields there we go well as you know to create our query we need to add some fields down here in our grid area so let's go ahead and double click city from the patient table and you'll see that is the first column field for our design grid down below now we want to add the first name and last name fields from the patient once you have that selected you have now three columns listed down there below let's add the visit date and reason fields from our visit table. You should now see that those are listed as our fourth and fifth columns in our design grid. So now that we have this query created, let's go ahead and click the Run button. So go ahead and come up here in our Design tab, Results group. Go ahead and click your Run button. And there you'll see that all five fields are listed and we now have all of the data from both of those tables combined to give us 85 records. Now this query in our database will be ran several times by the customers. We want to save this. So let's save this query so we don't lose it. Go up to the quick access toolbar, click the diskette button there to save. Microsoft Access once again going to say, hey, this is a new query, what do you want to call it? Well, for this one, we want to call this one Patient Visits. Once you enter that information, hit the Enter button or hit the OK. You will see the name displayed. If we expand this, you will see that Patient Visits now shows up in our Queries 
section over here as one of our Microsoft Access objects for the Chatham database. One thing we'll frequently do with queries is the act of sorting, which is the process of rearranging records in a specified order or some type of sequence. And so let's go ahead and do a little practice with that now. And we're going to be using the auto filter feature to sort our data, and this enables us to quickly sort and display field values in many different ways. So if you click the arrow on the city column here, here on the right side of that field, go ahead and click that arrow to display the auto filter menu. And we're going to click the sort A to Z feature here. Go ahead and click that and you will see the alphabetical arrangement going in alphabetical order of our records. And you can see by our city group, our records are sorted in alphabetical order by city. Now let's work with looking at how to select the two sort fields in design view. So if you go up to our home tab, in our views group, click the views button to change from data sheet view to design view here in our patient visits table. You will see that view that you ought to be getting accustomed to by now, the design view. If you look down here in our design grid, you will see that we have a sort option. We have a whole field dedicated to sorting. And in working with our city field, we're going to click the right side of the city sort box here. And you see we have a couple different options. We're going to go ahead and click the ascending option. And this will be the primary sort field. This is our first one we've selected. So this will be our primary sort field. This is the city field that we're working with here is a short text field from when we set that up and selected that. And in ascending sort order, we'll display the field values in alphabetical order. Now if we go over here to our visit date sort box, we go ahead and click the right side of that. And for this, this is going to be our second criteria. We're going to select that as descending. And we can then click away from that. Now we've got the visit date field is a date time field and a descending order is going to display the field values with the most recent dates shown first. That's enough for that one. Let's go ahead and go to our results group here in our design tab. Let's go ahead and click the run button. And as you can see Access ran our query and displays the results here in our query datasheet view. And the records appear in ascending order based on the values in the city field. And if we look at records or groups of records with the same city field, we then go over here and look at our data visit and you can see that those are sorted by descending order of the values here in our visit date field from our most recent visit to our oldest data visit. So they're sort of ascending in city and descending here in the data visit field. Now that we made a change to that, make sure you go up here to the quick access toolbar and hit the save button to make sure that we've saved 